Terry Husband, and I am a professor of early childhood literacy in the School of Teaching and Learning. I've been at ISU going on almost 11 years, and I'm excited about the opportunity to share a little bit about my research interests and a current project I recently published. My research interests concern two lines of inquiry. Number one, critical literacies in early childhood classrooms. In other words, more specifically, I'm interested in how teachers teach for social justice in ways that are both critical as well as developmentally appropriate all across the pipeline from preschool through 12th grade, but more specifically um, preschool through fifth grade. I recently published an article in the Journal of Language and Literacy Education in this past spring. And the title of the article is Identifying Promising Literacy Practices for Black Males in P through 12 Classrooms, an Integrative Review. And so essentially the purpose of this uh, study was to conduct a comprehensive literature review of what I like to call promising practices that have been documented as being effective or yielding positive outcomes with African American males all across the pipeline. One of the things that I found early on as I began to research this literature is when we think about black boys or African American boys, we tend to think about them in terms of the developmental spectrum. So there were some folks who were doing work in early childhood education, typically birth through uh, grade two. Then there were some folks who did work in the elementary years. And then there were a remaining group of folks who were doing work um, around young adult literature, the later years of elementary going into middle school and high school. But what I found was that was interesting was there wasn't a piece out there in the scholarship that sort of synthesized everything across the whole entire spectrum. And so this prompted my desire to begin to pursue this particular topic. Um, my initial assumption was and still remains a lot of what happens in, in high school is a direct result of what happens in middle school and a lot of what happens in middle school is a direct result of what happens in elementary or early childhood. And so it's important for us to talk across spaces. And so what I wanted to do with a colleague of mine and I, what we wanted to do was essentially was to look at the scholarship that presently exists and identify what's working relative to reading and writing instruction, and then identify some possible goal holes or gaps that we might even consider pursuing in the future. And so what we did is through the uh, research, we identified a total of 62 publications based on certain kinds of criteria. And then we began to analyze um, what those particular publications said in terms of teaching black boys how to read and write either in early childhood context, elementary context, middle school context, or um, ultimately high school context. And so one of the things that we found was that um, this notion of culturally responsive text was a theme that reoccurred over and over again. In other words, black boys benefit tremendously from having access to texts that speak to their life experiences. We found this notion of critical literacy, being able to make connections between what they're reading and writing about in the classroom and what's happening in the larger socio-cultural, political context that they're living in was a really, really an important thing. We talked about this notion of choice, how it's really important for Black boys all across the pipeline to have access to a lot of different types of texts as well as being able to engage in text in different ways. And so not just a traditional guided reading or independent reading, but being able to perhaps even read it collaboratively was a thing that came up over and over again. We talked also about this, or we found also about this issue of disciplinary support. 
meaning this whole idea of finding ways to support black boys so that, that they're not being taken out of the classroom and missing valuable literacy instructional time, but instead they're remaining in the classroom. And we talked about systemically how that's very important. We also talked about, or we learned about um, the importance of explicit instruction, particularly at the early childhood years around specific skill areas, such as phonemic awareness, phonics, as a way of setting the, the uh, groundwork or the foundation for later reading success. And then finally, we talked about the importance of having unified or comprehensive support all across the entire building. We um, came across studies that identified entire school or whole school models that actually attacked this issue and were highly successful in terms of being able to, to produce desirable reading outcomes. And so that was my most um, recent study. Again, if you're interested in um, reading more about it, feel free to go to the journal's website. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.